Hey guys, how are you doing today? We got our yum box. This one, it's from Spain. So let's see what we've got. The first, it has a little booklet, of course, or a little sheet. Um, it talks about Seville, which is uh, where they filmed Florence of Arabia, Star Wars Episode Two, and Game of Thrones. Parts of it, I'm sure. Uh, Madrid. Suma Flamenco, Spain's famous flamenco festival, takes place in this capital and lasts an entire month. That's kind of fun. Um, Malaga, a birthplace of two Spanish icons, Pablo Picasso and the spicy mangoes in your box. <laughs> well, I don't know if mangoes are an icon, but Pablo Picasso sure is. Pamplona, a staple of the Sam Furman Festival, running of the bulls draws over a million spectators. I did. I do know the part. Pamplona, I can't talk. And then Barcelona, which is the city's beaches, are made man made. The sand was imported from Egypt for the 92 Olympic Games. That's interesting. And then Zaragoza. Hurrah! We struck candy gold in the city. You can find it by digging into your box. That's just our little quick sheet here. And we have our bigger booklet, as usual, that gives you more information about the country and the goodies that are in the box. Um, some things you might know is that, well, it says, be careful with your sticker. It's worth millions. Well, it would be if it was painted by Pablo Picasso himself. A pioneer of the Cubism movement, Picasso depicted his art subjects from po all possible viewpoints at once. His most famous piece, Guernica, is estimated to be worth $200 million. Wow, that's a lot. What you might not know Spain is known as the land of many rabbits. Why? Well, when the Carthagin Carthaginians arrived around 300 BC, the land was flush with the hopping critters. They named the country España, land of many rabbits, which led to the modern day name of, well, it's still España, just spelled a different way. Um, talks about the universal lum yums. Playlist. They have like a YouTube playlist every month for the different country boxes, which is kind of fun. Um, with foods like paella, paella and gazpacho, Spaniards clearly appreciate a good meal. Hence the proverb, barriga lleno corazón contento, full belly, happy heart. They give you um, Spain's national dish, which is tortilla española, potatoes, onions, eggs, and salt. Hmm. Sounds like the tortillas we're used to, does it? Um, let's see. Is there anything else really interesting? They usually don't go through the whole thing. There's a whole little trivia section here. Um, then it starts telling you about the foods that are in the box, which I don't usually want to go through before actually getting them or before digging in. Um, Oh, that's interesting. There's a whole little section here about artists from Spain. We've got, um, Diego Velasquez, official portrait painter of King Philip, King Philip IV and the Spanish royal family. Salvador Dali, which is very famous, um, just, uh, just as renowned for his dramatic mustache as he was for his fearly, fiercely technical and skill and bizarre imaginary. Salvador Dali, I believe, is the one that did things like this, where the clocks are like melting off of things all the time. And then there's Francisco Goya, the last of the old masters of painting, whose works placed women in central roles as noble women, old crones, and heroines. <laughs> and then, of course, there's Picasso, which is cubism, very abstract looking, um, which is interesting. So, and then it gives you some more information about Spain. The different There's 17 regions of Spain, many with their own dialects or languages culinary creations and traditions. Ready to go backpacking through three of them? Vamos, which means let's go. Uh, it gives us La Rioja. Castilian Spanish is Spain's official language. The standard morning greeting is Buenos Dias. Um, eat, it has chow on some caparones, a hearty stew made with two regional specialties, red kidney beans and chorizo. Yum. I mean, really spicy chorizo. Yummy. Um, and apparently there is, it's wine country. La Rioja is wine country. 
Then there's Valencia, uh, a dialect in Valencia in a dialect of Catalan. Good morning is Bon dia. Hmm. Fun fact: the first book printed on the Iberian Peninsula was printed in Valencian. Val Valencian. I can't even talk. The from the Valencian word for pan fry paella is the valencian born national rice and seafood dish have you guys all heard of paella i think you probably have most people have um they have a big fe festival there called las fallas the spring celebration takes 12 months to prep for and involves bur burning hundreds of huge intricate floats well, that's interesting and then there's the basque re region which is a small region in the north of spain they speak basque uh, one of few languages in the world that's totally unrelated to the other. Hmm. on is how you say it? good morning? I don't know if I said that right. In Basque, the dish to get is piperade, which is made with onions and peppers and tomatoes to mirror the colors of the region's flag, red, green, and white. That's interesting. And there's uh, Gorbia Mountain. Gujili Waterfall, some really hard looking to say named cave. Oh, we're explore, explore the foggy Otsareta Forest. <laughs> Interesting. So I guess natural stuff there. Um, tapas is pretty big deal there. That's a food thing. Oh, and they've got a recipe for sangria. Not that I've never made sangria before. Mind you, I absolutely have. So tortilla española that they talked about earlier is an omelet made of eggs, potatoes, and onions. Calamares a la romana is deep fried squid rings. Uh, patatas bravas, fried potatoes with spicy tomato sauce. And then they have jamón, queso, y chorizo con pan. Ham, cheese, and chorizo slices with bread. I do remember enough of Spanish to mostly pronounce things right. So... Well, we've kind of breezed through that. Let's see what we've got. The first thing I see says fried egg. Flavored potato chips. I was smart. I grabbed scissors. It looks like we've got a few savory things right on top here. So let's try out. Oh, I poked my thumb with that. That was stupid. Let's see about fried egg potato chips. Do you think it's really going to taste like a fried egg? My glasses keep falling. Mm-hmm. It does. It, it does taste like I'm eating a pan fried egg. Pretty impressive. Interesting. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't eat more than that. For now. Although I'm pretty sure my yum box is dinner. Or my part of it. Because I have to share with Kevin. And the next thing I see are Conex. Snack de maize. Sabre con... Ooh, sabre queso bacon. It's a bacon cheese... Uh, bugle basically that sounds fantastic because queso of course is cheese mm-hmm get the bacon those are pretty good I like those I have yet another chip this is lemon and black pepper potato chips. I mean, lemon pepper is good on fish and such, right? Why not on chips? Never thought of putting lemon on chips, but you know, we'll see. La abuela knaves. Grandma. That's what abuela is. If you didn't know. Yep. That is lemon pepper. All right. The lemon is really strong more than so than the pepper even. I mean, you kind of can see not on that one. I mean, I don't even really see that much for, for flakes of pepper. One oh. run, Ryan just hit me in the foot. Hmm. That is definitely interesting. All right, is there anything else savory before we move on? Kevin's going to like those. It looks like everything else is sweet. All right, I don't like to go back and forth. I like to finish off all the savories before I move on to the sweets. Let me move these off to the table here. If you hadn't noticed, I'm in the living room, not in the normal on my desk filming as usual. So I have to be a little more careful trying to move things around without dropping things. All right, well, let's start 
with the bigger things that are easier to deal with. We've got gummy pineapple rings. Kevin loves pineapple and he likes gummies, so I'm guessing he's going to like these. Let's see. If I, I mean, I like gummies and I like pineapple too. So let's see what we got. They do look like little pineapple rings. They're kind of cute. That's really, I totally have a chip stuck in my teeth. Try to get that flavor out of my mouth real quick. At least that's a fruity one. I hope it doesn't interfere with this. Should I just grab the water? Mmm. Yeah. It definitely tastes like pineapple. Oh, the tart just hit me. It's kind of like a Sour Patch Kid. Sweet and on tart. Mm. The next thing we have is gummy spicy mangoes. I don't know. I feel about that one, but we'll see. Figured there's a couple gummies, might as well get them out of the way. Honestly, I feel like I've seen these somewhere before. I have mango. I don't really get this. Nope, there's a spice. How to say it? Oh, wow. All of a sudden, the spice just kicks you in the teeth. Oh, those are right up Kevin Dolly. I like spice. All right, so we've got. Hopefully, this will help a little with that spiciness. Cream filled snack cake. That's all it says on the front. Does it give me a flavor? Trying to see if it gave me like what kind of a cake it is, but not really. All right. Let's try to open these carefully so I don't mangle them. Okay, that's interesting. It's a little, <laughs> definitely a little cake, a very little cake. Um, it's very dense. horrible oh, not great hmm. interesting well, it's almost like you took normal cake and mm, it's almost like really dense pound cake but not quite and I don't even know how to explain the creaminess inside it's um interesting I have two things by the same brand in here La Casa the house chocolate chocolate negra naranja oh it's orange and chocolate the disappointment in the voice in my voice would be the fact that i'm not a big fan of citrus and chocolate i will try it because i haven't tried citrus and chocolate in a while honestly but last time i did it wasn't any different from the time before naranja is orange by the way that's how i knew right away that was chocolate and orange I guess that I remember some parts of Spanish class when I was younger. I wonder how to pronounce the oranges. It does look like it's a, maybe a milk chocolate. Oh. Oh, it is dark chocolate bar with candied orange peels. Oh, chocolate and orange. Not my favorite. Whoop. Mmm, orange just hit me hard. Mm -mm. I love oranges. I love chocolate. Just don't particularly like the combo. So now we'll go back. This is the other thing from the La Casa brand. Cocoa dusted truffles with salted caramel flavor. I feel like I need to get that orange out of my mouth. Time I grabbed the water. Mm -mm. Oh, Kevin's. He likes it. Okay. These are the type of truffle that look like a little turd. 
or a cocoa dusted Hershey Kiss. Actually, these ones aren't too bad. Very soft chocolate. It definitely has that caramel bite, to, that caramel taste to it. It's very good, actually. Those chocolates I'm okay with. I don't know why I don't like orange and, orange and chocolate. I just never have. And the last thing, almost, is this. Lacasitos Gold. Yeah. Sounds like a hard candy. Looks like the, it's looks like maybe the end of the tube pops off. Got a security seal, and then you have to pop it open. Oh, they're like almost looks like a little M and M. Yep, it's like an M and M. That is exactly what it is. Gold, I guess, is just the color. I didn't really get any. White chocolate and candy with caramel flavor. I guess it is kind of caramely. Interesting. Hi, Harry. And then the last thing in our box. <laughs> I'm trying to put things back in the box here. I tell you, those uh, spicy mangoes and the orange chocolate are all Kevin's. If he wants them. So not my style. Oh, I just tried to itch my head through my braid. That was bad. Yeah. Last thing we have is our little oops, young bag. Is where they put all the little things that don't fit in them that are just too small to just throw randomly into there so let's see what's in our yum bag all right well we've got several of these little toffee dudes there's it's really just a whole bunch of little little candies all right, so there's several of these. Let's put most of them back. So for one, we'll keep one out for now. And there's a couple of these ones here, so we'll keep one of those out. Several of these blue guys, and only one of each of these. Hmm. Okay, well, this one, El Casera. Casario, sorry, de Chafala. Toffer's chocolate. It's a little chocolate ball. Chewy? Mmm, kind of. Ow. Think Tootsie Roll. Maybe a little firmer at Tootsie Roll? Like the big log of Tootsie Roll? Yeah, that's a super chewy. Oh, it's supposed to do the same thing. Mm. It's the same thing. Now this says creme de pistachio. Mm. Same thing though. El Casario de Tafala. I'm guessing taffy. Now this one looks like caramel on the outside. I guess these are the same thing too. They're just smaller. I think they're the same brand. There's a couple of blue ones, but there's only one of the red ones. So those are kind of hard to chew up. I'm trying to tear them right in half. Nope. I was looking to see if it was filled. I'm not filled. It is caramel crunch. Ooh, there's pistachio. Mmm. It actually kind of reminds me of marzipan in flavor. So it's kind of like a caramel flavor plus pistachio. I'm not mad at it. Hmm. I think there was more than one of these little blue guys. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of those little blue guys. In here. I like those pistachios. Those are pretty good. Okay. So then... Blue guy. El Cas whoops. El Casario Caramelos. Con 
piñones. That was harder. I can't just bite that but baby. Well, I mean, I guess I might be able to, but... Oh, well, I wouldn't suggest it on your teeth. Hmm. Interesting. I am going to go back into the booklet now because sometimes they tell you more about what was in your yum bag. The little yum bag. Pine nut candy. It's fun. Pistachio toffees, which, yeah, that was that was pretty good. White chocolate and caramel candies. That was the little tube of M&M looking things. Um, yeah. Spanish chocolate truffles. Those were actually pretty good. Hmm. hmm. I wonder if the red and the blue... Uh, I wonder if these are all the same. This one says to follow. Compignolas. Caramelo Compignolas. It looks the same as the blue one. I'm just going to assume it's the same as the blue one, to be honest. It says the same thing. And it's not listed separately on the packaging. So that's interesting. Hmm. 70 years ago, in the tough times following the Spanish Civil War, a man in the northern town of Tafala, oh, that's where that word comes from, realized he had a, a surplus of pine nuts. So he gifted some to his neighbor, Jesus Ramirez, who mixed them with sugar, milk, and a hint of coffee, creating a caramel, which is still beloved countrywide to this day, and which you're about to try. <laughs> Goes to show you that a single act of kindness can create something great. Interesting. Okay, so this hard candy is going to take a while to eat. Um, the box in general. It, there there was nothing that really just stood out to me as just phenomenal. I can't believe I've never tried this before. I need to find a way to have this in my life more often. Um, the lemon on the chips was a little weird. Um, bacon and cheese, how can you ever go wrong with that? And the fried egg, it really tasted like a fried egg. That was pretty phenomenal. I did like all of the little candies in the yum bag. I liked the pineapple gummies. The cocoa dusted truffles were all right with the caramel. I wasn't a big fan of the spicy mangoes because at first all I got was mango and sweetness and then just pow in the back of my teeth. It like just hits you in the in the teeth, you know, with the spice and that's not really my deal. I didn't like the Cretan filled snack cake. The whole thing was just a weird texture. Like the the cake was so dense and then the cream was weird. It was almost like um a sweetened condensed milk, but thicker. It was just weird. I didn't like it. The little M&M dudes. I barely even noticed that they were supposed to be caramel and white chocolate. That just tasted like I was eating M&Ms. But they were all right. You know, they weren't horrible. Absolutely no on the chocolate and orange. So, I mean, I guess if I had to say I had a favorite of anything, I guess it's the cheese and bacon. Because, again, you can't go wrong with cheese and bacon. Um, and maybe the fried eggs as a close second. But, yeah. Not my favorite of the boxes so far, but it is still interesting to see what kind of things they have um, for snack foods in Spain. So that's all for this time. See you guys next time.